Hello and welcome to a new tutorial. This is Daisy. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to make paper poncetias with the Cricut Explore Air or Maker machine. These paper poncetias are very easy to make using my free template. Look for the link in the video description down below. And to make the paper poncetia, we're going to need cardstock in red, green, and yellow. 12 by 12 inches preferably, bamboo sticks or floral wire, and a hot glue gun. And to make the Christmas centerpiece, we're going to need a floral vase or a wooden centerpiece block. I will use a wooden rectangle that I will customize with vinyl stencil cut with Cricut and will paint with acrylic paint. Floral foam, hot glue gun, greenery, this can be artificial, fresh, or natural preserved. At the end of this video, I will show you how to preserve natural greenery. Also, we'll need extra decorations like pine cones, Christmas ornaments, etc. And to customize the wooden centerpiece, we're going to need a vinyl stencil, transfer tape, and acrylic paint. I will leave the list of these materials in the video description down below. And we're going to start with the design in Cricut Design Space. But before, I would like to invite you to subscribe to my channel, like my video and press the notification bell. Go to my website, download the SVG cutting file and upload it to the Canva. There are only two layers, but don't worry, I will show you how to form the poncetia using these two layers. Select and ungroup. I will start with the leaves. Select and resize to your liking. I am going to be making a 6 inches poncetia. So the measurements for the leaves are going to be 6 inches. Ungroup and make sure the solid layer is on basic cut. If you are using your Cricut Explore Air, you will need the scoring stylus. Select the tracing of the center of the leaves, go to Operations and click on Score. Now, if you have a Cricut Maker, you have three options to make this tracing. You can do it with the scoring stylus, the scoring wheel tip, or the fine debossing tip. If you are using the scoring stylus or the scoring wheel tip, go to Operation and click on Score. But if you are using the debossing tip, click on the boss. Now select both layers and click on Attach. Duplicate it because we're going to need two layers of leaves and place them aside. Now we're going to do the same process with the petals. Select it and we're going to resize it. This one needs to measure half an inch less than the leaves. For example, if the leaves measure 6 inches, the petals need to measure 5.5 inches. Now select it and ungroup. Make sure the solid layer is on basic cut. Now select the inner tracing. Go to Operation and select either a score or deboss. I'm going to be using the fine debossing tip, so I'm going to select deboss. Select all and click on attach. Now right click and duplicate it. We're going to need two layers of these petals. Select both and place them on top of the leaves. Now duplicate one of these petals and resize it. Since the first petals measure five and a half, this one needs to measure 5 inches. And duplicate it. We're going to need two of each size. Now 
You can place as many layers as you wish. I like to put like between four to six layers. The two layers for the center of the flower need to measure 3 fourths of an inch by 3 3 fourths of an inch. And for the circles we're going to need one or two of the green ones. The green ones need to measure one inch and the red ones we're going to need between six to eight circles and these ones need to measure three fourths of an inch. The layers are ready. Let's go make it. Now here we're going to select the material we are going to cut. In this case I'm going to select heavy cardstock on a step one. On step two is indicating that we need to load either the scoring or the debossing tool. I am using the debossing tool. And let's go to the machine. These are the three tools that we can use to trace the petals. If you are using the Cricut Explore Air, you may use the scoring stylus. And if you are using the Maker, you may use any of these three. The scoring stylus go on the clamp A and the other two on the clamp B. When the machine finished with the tracing, it will indicate you to load the fine point blade. Now it's time to assemble the poncetia. Curve the petals using a ruler and fold them in half following the tracing. This to define the petals and leaves. Then using a hot glue gun, we're going to place one on top of the other one, starting with the green circle and the leaves. Then align the petals from bigger to small. And don't forget to place one of those circles in between each layer. Now roll the pistols, put a little bit of hot glue and place it on top of the flower. Mm -hmm. 
Now place the floral wire or the bamboo stick. And here we have the beautiful paper poinsettia flower cut with Cricut. With these paper poinsettias, you can make gorgeous floral arrangements, such as Christmas centerpieces, red, wall decor, or even to decorate your Christmas tree. Now we're going to move to the next step. We're going to start customizing the wooden rectangle. I am using a vinyl stencil that I cut with Cricut. If you would like to use this design, you can download it from my website. I'm going to leave the link in the video description down below. I'm transferring the stencil using transfer tape. I'm going to paint the design using water-based acrylic paint. I'm going to let it dry for like one or two hours and then I'm going to remove the vinyl stencil. After that, I'm going to place a block of floral foam inside. Make sure to put hot glue on the bottom so it doesn't move. Now let's make the paper poinsettia Christmas centerpiece. Like I mentioned before, we're going to use greenery. This one can be artificial, fresh or natural preserved. I will be using fresh blueberry juniper. At the end of this tutorial, I will show you how to preserve fresh greenery to use for your flower decor or flower arrangements. I like to put the flowers before and then I like to fill in the empty spaces with greenery and other decorations. I decided to place two red roses on the front. If you would like to make these roses too, I will leave the template in my website. Remember, I'm going to leave the link in the video description down below. And here we have the gorgeous Christmas centerpiece made with paper poinsettia flowers cut with Cricut. If you like to make these paper poinsettias, visit me on my website so you may download the free template. Also there you will find the written instructions of how to make them. I will leave the link in the video description down below. And please don't forget to subscribe like my video and press the notification bell. And like I promised, here is the quick tutorial of how to preserve fresh greenery. You will need two cups of boiling water and one cup of glycerin. Mix them together and dip the greenery in the mixture. Let it dry 
and it will be ready to use to enhance your floral arrangements. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial and don't forget to subscribe to my channel, like my video and press the notification bell. Thank you for your visit and I'll see you in my next tutorial.